So what are you doing here? I'm just giving them a little bit of smoke at the beginning of the hive to make sure that they guys, these guys know that we're coming. Um, we want them to be nice and docile while we go through. It's about time to do the regular um, fortnightly inspections anyway. Um, but one of these hives we know swarms, so we, we need to find out which one's got no queen and replace the queen. It happens, tends to happen, swarming tends to happen when you get changed in the weather. Which we had. Which we had that nice, we had all that lovely hot weather, lots of honey coming in, yeah. and then cold. cold. <laughs> and that's when they get the wrong idea. And now comes the exciting one. Just look at it. Yeah. Right, yeah. you're going to do this one, Mike. Marshy, do you want to be designated smoker? Yep. My smoking machine's working well. Okay. So there's absolutely no honey there's being no honey in, at in all. here at all. No. So so that's a bit poor, isn't it? They need to try harder. But we, we knew that this one, we, we, we kind of sort of said when we made this a double brew box, yeah. we knew that we were sort of potentially sacrificing a little bit of honey production um, at that stage. So there is some honey in these? Yeah. Not a lot. Not a lot. But it will come. Okay, I hope so. It will come. Don't worry. We'll be having words of these bees if it doesn't. There we go, on top of there. No, no, down here. What if they've all swarmed? Well, hopefully we'll we'll sort that out as it comes. Okay, so where's... Uh, Into that one. one. On top of that, but remember, turn it upside down. I will, yep. So this brood box was almost empty when we put it in. Yeah. So that's doing well as well. Yes, yeah, these guys are doing really nicely. Do you think there's a queen in this one? Let's hope for the best. Let's have a, let's have a look. Right, so with these, with these J-tools. Yeah. How you hook it out there. Like that. Right. And do that again on that side. And then you can just lift the frame out. It's nice and easy. Look at that. That's all honey there. Wow. What do you think, Marsha? Mm, that's amazing. Loads of honey. And they're capping it off. Yeah. So, do you want me to put some in the upper box? We, what we'll do is, for now, what we're going to do is we'll just put this one down, down beside, and that gives you room to manoeuvre. All right. There's your hive top. What, which one do you want me to look at? We want to go. We want to slowly work our way through all of these. The end one here. I'm going to come around the back, so I'm not in the way of the flying bees. Much. No, I, I wouldn't worry about that one because that's not something we need to see. Yeah. We want to see where the brood nest is. Right. She's drawing that out beautifully. These, these, these guys are working hard. Great. There's no eggs in here yet, but... This one weighs room. a ton. Right, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that's honey. all honey. That's so extraordinary. There's at least two kilos of honey there. Yep, I'll go at with least that. two kilos. Is that, is that the beginning of a queen cell there? Eh? No, it's the beginning of what we call a play cup. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. There's another one down. It's quite a big one down yeah. there. Yeah. So this is potentially another hive that swarm. Oh jeepers! I feel bad about this. Uh, hey, at least we got one of the swarms look, back. The thing is, you got one of the swarms back, and it's not. The only thing to feel bad about is the fact that you know somebody, one of your neighbours, has probably got a colony of bees living in their chimney now. <laughs> Uh, good honey production. Swarm alert when they were seen over South Cerny. Right, so look, let's very quickly go through this because yeah, right. I think what we're going to do yeah. is just manipulate this hive a little bit more. Okay, good. Right, so put some honey in the upper boxes. You mean? Yeah, we're just going to move this all this honey out. This there's so much honey here. It's crazy. And the bottom one, can you imagine what that's going to be like? Well, the bottom one shouldn't have any honey in it. That's uh, just what cells. We, which we want is brood cells. Okay. Putting these all in here. Talk to me about boxes. Where do you want things to go? What we're going to do is, is invert them. Yeah, we are going to put this one here on there and swap it over. Here you go, smoker. Here you go. Right. Just basically makes oh, them go and feed themselves for the honey and 
I've got some wheat. Chill out. Can give that. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So. Patch queen cell. No, no, that's not. That's, a, that's another play cup. But there's no, there's no queen in here at all. Oh God. So this one, we're pr I'm pretty confident the queen's either just died or... So you're going to put a queen in this so one? So this one we're going to put a queen in. Oh good, how exciting. Um, I'm just going to quickly have a look through to see. Does the queen normally be is the queen normally in the middle then? Yeah, so... Yeah, this, they, they've just ran out of space. That's all. They were just doing so much pollen. Is that because it's such a good area? It is a really, really great. Cotswolds have always been an amazing area for beekeeping, uh, but you just got to be a little bit more on top of them. I thought that the pheromone strips are probably. So here's the new queen. She's the one in there. Have a look closer. She's the one in there with a little blue dot on her back. Okay. So just break the end out. There's a sort of like a candy in the end there. To feed them. Well, it's to feed them and to stop her getting out at the same time. Understood. Um, and then what will happen is the bees from in the hive will eat their way through to her. No way. What's with a bit of stick? That's putting a new queen in the hive. That's amazing. So. Okay. This one here, this frame here, we'll just slide back mm -hmm. in the middle here. Get it in. Yeah, they are fairly packed. Okay. Right, now, that box behind you. Yes, sir. No, no, no. no. This one? Yep. On here? Do yeah, just put it. This, um, yeah, just puffs the bees off, off the edges so that they just go down inside so we don't get too many squish bees. I'm going to brush them off. Or... Uh, that'll be alright now. They'll be, they'll be about the way now. So this one on here. Yep. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a few frames out of here. Yep. Uh, what do you want to do? That's it. Let's just put them down on the floor. Yep. Now the bees that are in this box here. Yep. We're going to shake into here. Into here, because. All right. Gotcha. <laughs> it's really amazing manipulation, isn't it? Oh, the honey! I'm blown away. I would be so nervous doing this without you, her will. Oh, right. <laughs> Claude says you wouldn't be here at all. <laughs> That's a really good one to put in, isn't it? Yeah, that, well, that one's definitely, they're all going in here. Um, that, that <laughs> That's yeah, I've lost my fear of bees, though. That, that, that's good, that's staying out. I've what got loads need. down here. Are those empty ones that are down there by your feet? They want to come up here, please. Okay. Uh, can you get one more in here? I've got one more. Uh, no, leave it. All right, don't, don't want too many. Oops. Oops. Not, do you want to de-squish it? You're going to lose a few. Like that. They're pretty adept at getting out of the way, aren't they? Yeah. Right, now we need to put the honey, the full honey frames back in this one. Okay. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. That's good. I can't believe how tough you are, Will, with no hand, with no gloves on. I haven't on. stung me yet. I haven't oh. been stung yet once. It's so unnatural being surrounded by a million bees. There's one on the floor. Yeah, yeah. And there's one there. Uh, yeah, there's one that there. one there in? That one there in, yeah. Yeah, that one there in. 
this. Oh, yeah, that's a nice wife tool. I'm missing a couple of frames. It doesn't matter because we, we, we don't want too many frames. There's one, one behind, behind you. One behind you. Um, we want this this box here on next, if we can. Uh -huh, I hear you. So do you want to spread these out, old boy? No, we will do, yeah, but we'll do that once it's on because it's easier when they're mm -hmm. flat. Everything gets sticky with these. Right, so. Now, we we'll just spread all these frames just out a little bit. So they're all parallel, but... Room for honey. Room for lots of honey. This is kind of the final spreading before the final honey production. Yeah, I mean, what, what we're hoping is that Do you're going to spread this th out. Put this, put these on top, yeah. and then Do we, oh yeah, we've got the spread them out. Right. That's, that's okay, I'm happy with that. Here's a, uh, hang on. Crown board and then the roof. Wait a minute. Superb.